um, to, pr to produce, <clears throat> the purpose is to produce high quality finished genomes at approximately current costs in the next three years, about 25 to 50 human and select human non-primate genomes. And I'll talk about quality in a few slides. <clears throat> also, uh, we would expect grantees over time to develop more specific definition of uh, what high quality finished genome is and uh, to use state-of-the-art methods to maximize uh, quantity and quality. And whenever NHGRI says use state-of-the-art methods, what we mean is we want them to push the state-of-the-art uh, without actually becoming long-term technology development centers. So why? Uh, for human, the reference is good but can be made better. There are still gaps, not, not a lot of them, but there are still gaps. There is incomplete representation of structural variation. We need to move from a mosaic representation to one that represents haplotypes faithfully. And we all know that we can better represent world populations in the reference. Um, when this came up at the workshop, uh, it, was, it was considered of such high priority that we should move, we should consider moving ahead, even though costs are currently, uh, currently somewhat high individually for these. For non-human primates, uh, primate genomes are key to understanding fundamental questions about human genome evolution, but the existing, almost all the existing primate references are not really reference quality. They're not, they're not finished. They could be better. So what is high quality? Well, certainly well beyond uh, the current short read-only methods. Um, it's possible to state quality in absolute terms. And you can ask, ask for end-to-end -end contiguity, for example, um, fully haplotype resolved, and zero, you could ask for zero gaps. Um, short of that, you could have specific lists of known difficult regions and say that, ask that they be 100 percent resolved. It's also possible to state, uh, to state uh, a high quality in terms of the gain in biomedical utility with reference, with reference to the uses of the human reference sequence, for example. Um, practical issues need to be considered because there is a moving state of the art. Um, uh, whatever language we propose, uh, we, we have in the FOA, uh, we'll need to ask applicants to consider all of these things because we don't, they all actually do have to be considered in any definition of what's high quality. Um, and we have to give some leeway to encourage creative proposals. Um, there is some relationship to other activities. Um, the NHGRI Genome Reference Consortium Award already funds um, among its activities production of five to seven very high quality human genomes. Some of those are expected to be uh, essentially end to end contiguous, although so there will be some, some regions that won't be resolved. Um, and any further effort will need to coordinate with that, uh, not just in terms of production, but in terms of integration into references. There is no overlap for the primate genome part of this. Um, we are certain to need some community input uh, regarding the selection of samples in both cases. Um, we would propose this, would propose this as a cooperative agreement mechanism uh, for a resource. And we think this will require about $2 million a year uh, for three years. And we would expect to make one, possibly two awards. And I have to say that this amount of funds, again, comes from comes from um, our best information at the time of the July meeting of what a current very high quality reference genome, uh, haplotype resolved, would, would cost, $200,000 to $250,000. But uh, again, I have spoken to people since then who think it can be done uh, for substantially less, and I hope it can be. So I'm going to stop there and uh, once again, uh, go around to the folks who I asked to take a look at this in advance. Lon, do you want to you want to start? Uh, um, in this case, you wouldn't limit the call to groups that aren't funded under the consortium already. No, this is independent, this, and this yeah. this would express expressly not be. We would not attempt to make this highly coordinated with with the core GSP. I think it's just too much. It needs to be an independent effort. Um, in, in the past, actually in the distant past, we had, we had these together, func kinds of functions together in the same kind of grant. And actually, th this kind of activity, the high quality genome activity, needs such, needs its own focus to such an extent that I think having it be part or associated with something bigger, it has to be a separate grant. Having it too associated with something uh, more wide ranging will detract from it. But I don't think that, that having 
to having a grant from the same institution that also has one of the larger grants, this particular bar. It's a, it's a very highly specialized expertise. Well, I, I, don't, I don't have a, a whole lot to, to add to that. I think the questions on this were um, overlap with other programs, which you touched upon, the costs, uh, and in the overall climate of the funding environment, you go one or two. It was less of a scientific case, I think. Anyone on the phone? Oh, sorry, Carol. It's okay. Um, yeah, what about annotation of the genome assemblies? Is is that out of scope for this, or would that be considered in scope? And then reagents to actually then leverage the genome assemblies to do uh, more experimental work. Is all of that out of scope, or is that so? In scope? So what 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 do you have in mind for annotation? Uh, well, you could you could do computational gene predictions using all the available uh, yeah, stuff I, you have, or you could create uh, cDNA libraries to get better gene models using yes. transcripts or RNA seq or something. There's a lot of additional data that you could generate that would really improve the the quality and annotations of these genomes and make them far more useful, but not for this amount of money. Yeah. So. So I think that goes, in fact, that goes beyond the way I was thinking about it. Um, but what you said made me think not just about uh, the utility, um, but also it's possible that you could do some quality checking that way. It's possible. And maybe insofar as it was quality assessment, yes. Um, but not, not annotation. This is really a pretty vanilla production effort. Carlos. So it, it's being done as a contract, right? No. No, it's not being done. It's a cooperative agreement. Cooperative agreement. Cooperative agreement. For, for a research resource. I see. So does that mean that, you know, for example, a company that's got an innovative technology solution to do the sequencing couldn't bid or they could? Yeah, they, they could. They could. Okay. So we're basically sort of putting out this RFA at two million bucks a year to buy 50 high quality genomes. In, in, but, but. But there is, there is more to it than that, mm -hmm. right? If someone says, I can, I can do it now for whatever per, that, that might not be as interesting as an application that said, said you know, these are the critical factors in, in getting these, this feature of high quality, and, and I'm going to, it is, in my hands, it's more efficient because I'm going to use this combination of techniques. Yeah. I'm not wedded to any particular method, for example, and I'm going to try these. There should be some leeway for that. I see. I see. But at the end of the day, it, it, because it's not as tightly integrated with the rest of the program, right, if, if a, an applicant or a group were to come in and say, okay, we could deliver 100 high-quality genomes at this price, and here's what we're going to do, and, mm -hmm. you know, then that's what we're sort of looking for. That's right? what we're looking for. And, of course, they should have some, uh, some um, well-thought-out plans for how they're going to pick the individuals what populations are going to come from with reference to the existing reference and yeah. lack of representation or lack of utility, yeah. uh, or improving utility along a number of different dimensions. I mean, it goes without saying that the diversity component here is going to be really, really critical, right? Yes. Particularly if you want to have a bunch of the HLA alleles in those complex yes. regions. Carol. So you mentioned the GRC. Um, so is it anticipated that they would take stewardship of these genome assemblies? Um, and are they going to be properly resourced to do that task? Because what they're doing now is extraordinarily important to yeah. the existing reference sequences. Yes, yeah, so what they're doing now is extraordinarily important, I agree. Um, there will have to be an interface because if these are good quality, I can't imagine that the GRC will not want to use them. So I can, I can also imagine that there's some, there's some boundaries that this may go across for the way that the GRC operates right now. It's have to be dealt with. Yeah, so that, that would be a separate, but again, that would be a separate resourced activity if they don't have the sufficient resources to take these on. Um, yeah, there, wouldn't, there wouldn't be additional resources. We'd have to figure out a way within the amount of money we have to, to get this done if it becomes very important. Yes. I was going to say, I think this is a terrific. Uh, a terrific initiative, and it's right on, on target. Small investment for a big payoff. 
Val or David, any comments? Oh, it's a, no, it's a, it's a good initiative. Yeah, this is Val. I think it's a good initiative as well. Uh, just to clarify, all these uh, genomes would be independently assembled. Is that correct? I'm sorry, Val. I didn't. They would be independently assembled. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, uh, I don't. I don't know. I think. I think this is up to the up to the applicant to propose what the best way is. Of what the assembly would be. Yes. If, if joint assembly improves the quality, then they should be joint assembly, right? You know, so what, whatever the best possible reference that yeah, can be produced. Exactly. With evidence that you've produced an accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all part of their application. Yeah. I, I think this is really, really critically important, right? Every, everybody bemoans the fact that we don't have enough really good, high quality genomes. I, the other sort of group that would be good to bring in is the sort of genome and a bottle consortium who's been thinking a lot about these issues. Yes. And so I think there's a lot of complementarity between what's being funded here and what they want to do. So. I think we're ready to vote. <laughs> Can I have a motion to approve? In a second. All in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? Thank you. All right, Adam, last one. Last and again, one. we will not be voting on this one.